He'll join us live. And Obamacare taking another hit. Fox News has learned exclusively that the administration is being investigated by Congress. And here's what for potentially giving away billions of improper health care credits. That is where we start today. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. The news on the potentially bogus credits coming after nearly a dozen independent investigators working undercover were able to find subsidies and receive subsidies using false information. Big story this morning. Rich Edson joins us live from Washington with more on this. Good morning, Rich. Now, good morning, Martha. The Senate's top investigative committee is examining the system that ensures Obamacare tax credits are going to the right Americans for the right amounts. Within the past hour, an aide to Senator Rob Portman says he sent a letter to HHA Secretary Sylvia Matthews Burwell announcing the inquiry. Portman refers to an independent investigation from last year showing HHS failed to resolve a majority of inconsistencies in Obamacare applications. He says he wants to know if the system has improved. We've asked repeatedly, and we've gotten, you know, no verification that they're doing anything about it. So, you know, we have uh, repeatedly made requests saying, look, you've certified to Congress that this eligibility system is working, uh, but everything that we're hearing is that they've still got huge problems. Portman also says he's looking into general confusion about applying for Obamacare insurance. The government offers tax credits largely based on income and family size. It's up to Obamacare applicants to provide that information. If those details change, the Obamacare customer may have to repay some of those tax credits. H&R Block says two-thirds of its Obamacare filers owe, on average, hundreds of dollars to the IRS, and that the majority of those customers are pretty confused about the law. As for verifying all this information, HHS says, quote, we take seriously our responsibility to make sure people who are eligible stay covered while protecting taxpayer dollars. An administration official says HHS closed to resolve the majority of 2014 data matching issues by the end of last year and adds that healthcare.gov's consumer education is improving. Back to you. Look we'll forward to more on that. Rich, thank you very much. Bring some analysis right now with Fox News radio host John Gibson with us here in New York. How are you, Gibby? Good morning to you. I'm good, Bill. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Thank you. Stories like this, though, have to be disturbing because it happens time and time again, John. Yeah, look, this has been going on a while. Tom Coburn looked into it uh, very seriously before he left the Senate. But, you know, what Rich is talking about is the HHS and the IRS have like 2.6 million inconsistencies in these tax credit applications. What that means is many of those people are simply applying for uh, tax credits for Obamacare with, with completely fake backup, fake Social Security numbers, fake income statements. And uh, the IRS and the HHS are supposed to chase them down, and apparently they're not doing a very good job. Look, it's 2500 bucks a month in many, many cases, $30,000 a year. And the way it works is you can apply to have that money paid for your health insurance on a month-by-month -month basis, or you can apply at the end of the year to get the cash back with your tax returns. So people are, are, are able to, with, with all this fake documents, actually apply for huge amounts of money at the end of the year and the government just sends them a check with very very yeah. little yeah, checking and, and a lot of those in support of obamacare would say hey you just need to hire more people in the irs because you know like, hey you got to crack down more and you're well, going to hear a lot of that <laughs> right, now, the I, critics would say hey the bigger the government the greater the potential is there is for fraud in uh, in america yeah it, the earned income tax credit fraud is a terrible thing it, it's it's out of control just like obamacare is and, and oh by the way if you hired more people at the irs could koskinen assure us that they won't be used to go investigate conservative <laughs> political groups. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say other than they are, they are just shoveling money out the door as fast as they can without with, with and, what appears and listen, to be no effort to check and it. And massive amounts of money, too. Massive. Senator Portman's a good man, and he's, he's a smart guy, too, and he's been in Washington a while, so he knows what he's talking about. Can a guy like that get the answers he's looking for? You know, I guess if he takes a hammer to the place or comes on the air with us more often and, and really starts making a lot of noise about it, it, you know, in a way it's just kind of depressing and shocking that the public hears about this and doesn't show up with the pitchforks and torches at, at the Capitol door because it's, it's just a shocking amount of money. 
And I'm telling you, if this story broke on April 15th when people were writing checks, they'd probably be a lot, a lot angrier. Yeah. 11 of 12 undercover investigators got the health credits by using false information. One got caught. One got caught out of 12. Thank you, Gibby. We'll see you on the radio. Okay. John Gibson here in New York.